Hey guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know what I've been up to during January. I basically went away for almost four weeks. I went to Mexico and spent about 10 days in Tulum. I then moved on to Belize and also to Havana as well. So this video is directed at Tulum. We spent about 10 days there in total. For this video, I just wanted to share kind of a travel vlog with lots of memories and also just some handy tips for your trip to Mexico if you're planning one and if you're not you should be because it was so amazing but what I have also done is I have shared a full blog post with all the information on where we stayed where we ate what we did and just more specific details that I didn't get to share in this video so I'm not gonna ramble on too much because I'm really excited to share the video with you guys so I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the end First thing I recommend doing when visiting Tulum is to rent bikes. They're so inexpensive and it's such a fun way to see Tulum. Pretty much everything is within cycling distances, all the ruins, all the beaches and all the fun bars. It's such a perfect way to see this area. Now I couldn't possibly talk about Tulum without mentioning the beaches. They are so beautiful. We're talking clear white sand, beautiful water. One of our favorite beaches was Akumal. Now this isn't within cycling distance. You can get there via the Colectivo bus. It's really easy. There's loads of pelicans and it's perfect for snorkeling as well. So that's what we spent the whole day doing. The underwater life here is beautiful and you can also see turtles, which is what Akumal is famous for. Loads of turtles feed here and they have this protected area for them. So you can spend the whole day swimming in the sea and just looking at the beautiful turtles doing their thing. It was so lovely. Now you are asked to wash off your sun cream before going into the water just as a way to protect the turtles from the chemicals in it. So if you are somebody who burns easily then packing a t-shirt or a rash vest should be perfect for this. But look it's totally worth it to keep these guys happy. They're so cute. limestone region they are dotted with these beautiful natural sinkholes called cenotes and they are so stunning the water is so fresh and crystal clear they're beautiful to swim in and there are so so many that you can choose from we visited at least four or five of them during our trip I'll leave a specific list of all the ones we visited below and most of them are within cycling distance so it's really easy to get there and they really are so incredibly stunning you have to see these in person they're perfect for swimming in for snorkeling or even just spending the day there relaxing and just taking in all of the natural beauty that's around you. They really are so incredible and you cannot miss these if you come to Tulum. you can also go scuba diving in them as well and as a huge diving fan I was definitely not going to miss out on this opportunity so we decided to go with Koch diving they're a fantastic dive shop right in the center of Tulum I did a lot of research about safety in kind of diving the cenotes and Koch were my number one choice so all we had to do was choose which cenotes we wanted to dive and they basically arranged everything else for us so it was so easy our dive leader was named Sebas he was from Chile and he was the most perfect safe guide that we could have asked for we were pretty nervous before we did our first dive, I'm not gonna lie, but we had the most amazing experience and we did lots of diving in the snow days while we were in Tulum. Take a look. Everything 
diving in the cenotes is very different to diving in the sea in a few ways. The first one is probably the visibility. It is crystal clear. It's so beautiful. You actually feel like you're flying. And even though you might not have as many types of fish that you would find in the ocean, the cenotes are still so incredibly beautiful in their own way. There's something really otherworldly and very magical about them. Even if at times it's a little scary, like when you're in the caverns, it's always really beautiful. And because we worked with an amazing dive shop like Koch, we were always super safe. So it was amazing. First thing we do when we get out of the water is always go for a drink and some food and there are so many amazing spots around Tulum to go for a margarita or some Mexican food or basically whatever you fancy. We went to a bunch of different spots and I will link them all in the blog post. Everywhere is really affordable and the food is great and needless to say I ate everything around me during the trip. It was the best. As well as restaurants, don't be afraid to try any of the traditional Mexican street food. Sebas brought us this amazing like vine wrapped kind of egg thing. I think it was called Palmasis. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. We also went to the popular Raw Love, which is really healthy and kind of vegan as well. If you want to go somewhere a little bit different for something healthy, it was great. The nightlife in Tulum is also really great. Whether you want to stay in the city center or if you want to go to some of the beachside bars, there's loads to do in the evenings. Another really interesting thing about Mexico's Yucatan region is all of the amazing Mayan history. In Tulum, you have of course the Tulum ruins, you can cycle there, it is so beautiful and so, so interesting. Whether you're a history nerd or not, you will really enjoy seeing them. You can also take the day trip out to Chichen Itza. It does take a whole day, but it's really, really worth it. But my personal favorite had to be the Koba ruins. This was actually part of another day trip that we did with Koch diving. They also do adventure and ground tours. So they organized everything for us. It was so, so easy. It's about 45 minutes outside of Tulum and it is even older than Chichen Itza. It's really, really beautiful. You can walk around the ruins of the ancient city and you can even still walk up the steps of their massive temple. This is something you cannot do with Chichen Itza anymore, but I really urge you to go to Koba. It's a lot of work to get up those steps, but it is so worth it for the view at the top. After the Koba ruins, we went to Punta Laguna, which is a nearby kind of adventure center. And that was also part of the day tour with Koch. And it was amazing. We got to do all these different really fun activities, including being lowered into this like cavernous cenote in the dark. And it was just such a fun day. And I really recommend Koch for day tours as well as diving because they do all the organizing for you. So it's really simple and your transport and everything is included. It's great. So there you have it guys, that was my kind of travel vlog and guide for Tulum in Mexico. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you have already been to Tulum and you have some other recommendations, please do leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you got up to, what you liked, what you didn't like. And of course, if you have not gone already, I hope that this video convinces you Mexico is Absolutely amazing. I can't recommend it enough and Tulum was just a total dream. As always, if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up so I will know to do more travel videos like this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I will leave an icon here on screen so you won't miss any future videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next one, guys. Bye.